Everybody's gonna freak out when I tell them the story, man. Every family has secrets. But Julio never thought this one, kept from him, would change his life. Julio was 18 when he first laid eyes on the 1967 olive green Pontiac Firebird. That vehicle caught my attention, you know, real fast. The thing is that I felt in love with the car, you know, and uh, I could say that that was a little sacrifice for me to buy it because I had to work hard and I wasn't making that, that much of money uh, back then. 2,000 hard-earned dollars later, he finally bought the car. But one day, before going to work, it was just gone. It's hard to forget something like that. I know it's just metal. People would say that he has some, uh, you know, some feeling and, you know, emotional thing in it. The car, now only a memory that lived in his mind and in this old photo. It caused quite the stir because, uh, you know, we got to see my dad as this hip, hip young guy with his new car. Uh, and it led to, to just us prying about the, the car, the origin of the car, the whereabouts of the car. And uh, he, he didn't have a lot of answers. For about the last 10 years, I've gathered bits and pieces uh and i i think he had somewhat even stored it in in the back of his brain because it was such a painful thing i quickly realized that it was a sad story in his life and, and i wanted to help kind of bring closer to that story so josh looked all over the country until he found a similar one then he restored it to make it look just like his dad's back in the day. It had a lot of body work that needed to be done. There was a, a, a welding team that did all the metal work on it. We contacted uh, Pontiac to get the original color and then all of the emblems, all of the trims, all of the interior. And once it was ready, he put it into a car show to finally let the secret out. Oh, mira mi carro. When we got there and I see this firebird, the same color, olive, and everything basically the same, I couldn't believe it. I got so excited. I said, look, that's my car right there, you know? My car used to be exactly like that. <laughs> really? But I never read what it says, honor. What's this guy's name? What's, it? What's this guy's name? No. 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 He says, uh, you're not playing with me, are you? Because <laughs> we, we like to prank each other a lot. And I said, no, this is your car, get in. I got so excited and I get out of the park and, uh, and drive it back home instead of leaving it there for, you know, people to walk around and see it. But I got so excited that that's what I did. I've come to the realization, right, that uh, there's nothing I could do to pay him back. Uh, I think that's why, as uh, as astronomical as this this gift of a car could seem at a moment, uh, I felt like it was a small thing, and it was a long overdue thing. I feel out of this world. I never, <laughs> I never thought I was gonna see a, a, a vehicle again. I'm still feeling it. You know, it's it's really uh, powerful. Every family has secrets, but Julio never thought this one kept from him would change his life. What he did, it makes me look 
my life with a different perspective of things because we do things with the heart and, and, and we do things because we love uh, somebody. It's something that has come from his example being very giving and very selfless. And I hope that he can realize that it's a valuable lesson that we've all, all learned from him. I feel much better now with myself after what happened. So I cannot thank him enough.